Vaccine headlines are rolling in. One of AstraZeneca's doses stopped an average of 70% of patients from falling ill, and that even rose to 90% with additional regimens. Now the head of the government's Operation Warp Speed is saying that, quote, hopefully vaccinations in the U.S. will start in less than three weeks. Joining me now to discuss is emergency physician at Johns Hopkins University, Dr. Gabe Kellen, live from Baltimore. Dr. Kellen, I want to talk mRNA technology here. In humans, when it comes to vaccines, this is this is new. It's different from, from what AstraZeneca is using in its vaccine. Take us to the differences here. Sure. So um, the mRNA is a new platform, but it's not as new as you think. It's been close to a decade in development but we haven't had the kind of outbreak where uh, vaccine development could take place because previous outbreaks just haven't lasted this long. There haven't been that many people to test it on and now, and now it's there. So these are um, DNA, well, it's RNA. So it's genetic material that is made in the lab. It can be made relatively cheaply and quickly. And when uh, injected into the body, it makes um, uh, a, another protein that is aimed at, in this case, the coronavirus, the, the SARS-2 uh, coronavirus. That's a little bit different, and you, and you might even think it's a tad safer than the traditional means of making vaccines that use actually infectious material um, to to inject into you, usually not actively infectious, although some vaccines are, not this one. Uh, and your body reacts to it so that when it sees the real virus or the, or, or the real pathogen, it reacts to it. Um, so this is a, a whole new technology. As you know, in the two trials that have used it, Moderna and Pfizer, um, both of those have not reported in the short run any serious side effects. So um, because of the way the trials are, it is required to go out a minimum of uh, 60 days and uh, about 20,000 such people in the um, Pfizer study, something similar in the Moderna study and serious side effects have, have not been reported thus far. But most people are concerned about, okay, well, there aren't too many side effects other than a little muscle soreness, fatigue, maybe a little fever for a day or two. But the thing that I'm hearing a lot is, well, what about the long term? Right. So it is true that we don't know the long term effects in humans. And you're left with the kind of question of, would you really withhold this vaccine for two years or even longer? in the midst of this raging pandemic to get a few more data points when historically the likelihood of serious impact from any kind of vaccine is very, very rare after 60 days. So two years from now, if nothing much changes at the rate of just in the US, one to 2000 deaths a day, we're looking at up to one and a half million deaths while we wait for what is likely to be maybe even non-existent, mm. extremely rare outcome. What about the Astra Oxford uh, efficacy and, and, and method? How is that different than mRNA? And well, maybe even how does it change the way we think about the timeline for all getting vaccinated in, in 2021? Well, uh, I think even Pfizer and Moderna, I believe the US government has purchased about 100 million uh, doses of each. Um, what these other vaccines, the ones that are made in a uh, more traditional antigen injected uh, way, is that it might give people choice, should they have choice in their area, if they're still somewhat hesitant about getting the mRNA version of the vaccine. And uh, apart from today's announcement, which I've, I've only just kind of seen in headlines, um, there'll be other vaccine candidates that will be coming to market during the year. So I think as Dr. Fauci had said uh, on many broadcasts, sometime into the second quarter of next year, towards the end of the first quarter, um, most people, if they want a vaccine, uh, will be able to get one. 
Emergency physician at Johns Hopkins University, Dr. Gabe Callum, live from Baltimore. Dr. Callum, thanks for joining us on Quick Take this morning. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.